Imagine you're standing at a crossroads, one path labeled saving and the other investing. Each offers a journey towards financial security, but in fundamentally different ways. Which path is right for you? It's a question that confounds many, given that both saving and investing are crucial, yet distinct strategies for accumulating wealth. The answer isn't straightforward, and understanding the nuances between them can significantly impact your financial future. In the rapidly changing financial landscape, the choice between saving and investing can make or break your long-term wealth goals. It's essential to delve deep into each strategy to uncover their strengths, limitations, and ideal usage scenarios. This essay will guide you through the key differences and help you decide which might be the better option depending on your personal financial situation. Saving and investing are foundational strategies for anyone aiming to build a robust financial future. Both methods involve setting aside money today to ensure a more secure tomorrow. However, the paths they follow diverge significantly in terms of risk, accessibility, and potential growth. Though both strategies use financial institutions to guard and grow your funds, the mechanisms and outcomes can vary dramatically. Understanding these differences is crucial in making informed financial decisions that align with your personal goals and circumstances. Saving is typically seen as the safer option. By placing money into savings accounts, money markets, or CDs, you are choosing a low-risk path. The returns are modest but predictable, and your capital remains intact and readily accessible. The major benefits of saving include security and liquidity. Your money is protected up to $250,000 by the FDIC in the US, and you can access these funds almost immediately if needed. However, the major drawback is the relatively low return, often not enough to outpace inflation which can erode your purchasing power over time. Investing, on the other hand, is about putting your money to work in the hopes of generating higher returns. This could mean buying stocks, bonds, ETFs, or mutual funds, the potential for higher returns comes with a higher risk, as the value of investments can fluctuate significantly. While the liquidity of stocks and bonds is high, meaning you can convert them to cash quickly, the return on these investments is not guaranteed. The market's volatility can lead to periods of significant financial loss, particularly in the short term. Comparative Analysis – Risk and Return the primary difference between saving and investing lies in the risk-return trade-off. Savings offer lower risk but also lower returns, making them suitable for short-term financial goals or emergency funds. Investing, however, can potentially provide higher returns, making it suitable for long-term goals like retirement, but it also carries the risk of losses. Understanding your risk tolerance is key to deciding between saving and investing. It's about balancing the potential for higher returns against the possibility of losing your money. Strategic Considerations Deciding whether to save or invest depends heavily on your financial situation and goals. For short-term needs or emergency funds, saving is more appropriate. However, for long-term financial goals, investing is generally more effective despite its risks. For instance, if you are planning to buy a house in a year, saving would be preferable. Conversely, for a goal like retirement which may be decades away, investing could provide the growth needed to ensure a comfortable future. Long-term impact on wealth accumulation. In the long run, the choice between saving and investing can dramatically affect your wealth accumulation. Regular savings might secure your money, but investing can potentially multiply it owing to the power of compound interest and market growth. Balancing both strategies according to different life stages and financial goals is crucial. A well-structured financial plan often includes both saving for immediate short-term needs and investing for future larger goals. Conclusion and Recommendations In conclusion, neither saving nor investing is superior in all circumstances. Each has its place in a well-rounded financial strategy. Understanding when and how to use each can lead to smarter financial decisions and a more secure future. If you're unsure of how to balance saving and investing, consider seeking advice from a financial advisor. They can provide personalized insights based on your financial situation and goals, helping you navigate your journey towards financial security and prosperity.